Okay, this is Mr. Wyrick. I'm not here today, but I'm here today to uh, let you know how this is going to work on the notes and then give you a quick preview of the assignment. Um, first off, in the warm-up, it's using the distributive property, so we're going like this. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. They're not like terms. I can't put them together, so I'm done. Same here with the x squared. x squared times 1 is x squared. x squared times x is x to the third. Remember, when you multiply numbers together, you are adding the exponents. If we have three numbers, there's three numbers. 3x times x squared is 3x to the third. 3x times a minus 4x is minus 12x squared. 3x times 5 is plus 15x. Uh, for most of the rest of this, don't necessarily, well, I don't know. 3ab times 2a is 6a squared b. 3ab times 3ab is 9a squared b squared. And 3ab times b squared is 3ab to the third. Make sure for each one that we have, we're adding together those exponents. So over here on this one, m squared n squared times mn is m to the third, n to the third, and then that's minus so would be m squared n squared. Again, not like terms. They have to have the exact same variables with the exact same exponents to be like terms. So that's the distributive property. That's multiplying stuff together. We're going to reverse that. We're gonna factor, and we're gonna start factoring with the GCF, the greatest common factor. So with this one, it's three X to the third minus 12 X squared plus 15 X. We're gonna find the GCF, the greatest common factor. That's the biggest thing that can divide in evenly. In this case, everything is divisible by three. And the lowest exponent for x that we know will divide into all of them is a single x out here. So I'm going to divide everything by 3x. When I do that, my 3x is going to go on the outside. And on the inside, I'm still going to have the exact same signs separating the parts of this expression. 3x to the third divided by 3x is going to be x squared because if I multiplied those back together, it would make 3x to the third. 3x times a minus 4x would give me that minus 12x squared, and 3x times 5 would give me the 15x that I need. So I have x squared minus 4x plus 5 in there. That's where I'm stopping. I'm just factoring out the greatest common factor. So on these up here, you have to think about what's the largest number that will go into all of the coefficients, which in the case of this one down here with 3, 6, and negative 2, there's not going to be a number that goes into all of them. And then what is the largest uh, number exponent? So with this one, 18x squared minus 24x, that's going to be uh, 6x times 3x minus 4. On number 2, everything is divisible by 4. I put a 4 out here. Everything has an h, so I put an h out here. That's going to be h squared minus 5h plus 1. I have a one here, I can't just put nothing. 4h divided by 4h is not nothing, it is one. So I have to be able to distribute this and get back to where I was originally, just like up at the top. Um, on number three, a five d to the third. Both of these have at least d to the third. Remember, when you're dividing exponents, you just subtract. d to the fourth divided by d to the third leaves us with just a d. And then plus 10 divided by 5 is 2. d to the third divided by d to the third is 1. So I'm good there. On number 6, the 6, 8, and the 14, it seems like it should be bigger. It's just going to be 2. And then k to the eighth, k to the fifth, k to the third, it's going to be k to the third. Remember, when you're dividing with exponents, you just subtract. So that's uh, 3 k to the fifth minus 4 k squared minus 7. I don't need a k to the third because this has the k to the third. I'm going to skip over number five in favor of number six. This has an x in every single one of them. It has y's in these two, but it does not have a y in the last one. So I cannot factor the y out. I can factor out at least an x squared, and that's actually going to be my greatest common factor. The numbers aren't all divisible by a single number. So this is going to be x squared times 3x squared y to the third plus 6xy minus 2. 
So it doesn't seem like I factored out much, but I factored out everything that I could. Today's assignment is gonna be a lot of questions about uh, pre-factoring. I'll see if the other one is greatest common factor uh, to see if I can rearrange this. Uh, but if it's greatest common factor, we'll do like this. If it's like this one, you just have to go through and answer the questions. Find two integers that fit the conditions. They multiply to make 12, they add to make seven. They multiply to make a positive and add together to make a negative. You have to think about it. You have to go with logic on that. Um, we'll see you back in class tomorrow. If you have any questions, I'll make sure to post these notes on the classroom.